Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Ladies Gamings. Today, uh, I have a video for from Fallout 4, and we're doing the mission Blind Betrayal, and that's where you find out, um, Paladin Dance is a synth, and you're ordered to either, you know, yeah, you're ordered to basically execute him. So, uh, without further ado, let's start this. Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? That remains to be seen. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the synths on that list. The reason why it takes me so long to decide because I'm reading over and thinking what his response would be. Findings have been validated by multiple sources. Quinlan wouldn't have brought this to me if he wasn't 100% certain of the results. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone AWOL, disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you and then swore you to secrecy. You have to believe me. He, he never told me he was a sin. <laughs> the reason I am passing all of these charisma checkpoints is because my charisma is fully maxed out. Dance is a sin. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future, which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. Now, I hated choosing the choice that I had, but it was the only way that I knew it would um, make uh, Maxon happy. I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. I think because my charisma was at its max level is what made me succeed in this mission. And you'll see how I succeeded in, well, towards the end of this. Attention, this is a reminder. All recovered technology must be presented immediately to Proctor Quinlan for evaluation. Oh, Anyone night. found in possession I of undocumented technologies will be subject Sorry to about inquiry this and punishment. Dance. He'll be missed. Doubtful. I wouldn't miss a synth any sooner than I'd miss a transistor radio. I was merely sorry that you'd been duped. No matter. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth. And I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? How did you hear about it? There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxon's made it clear that we're to locate Paladin Dance, and if we find him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. Order 
orders are orders. Orders are orders? That's all you have to say? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen, you're addressing a senior officer, and you will show her the respect that she's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, now listening to him and he called me a senior officer, I was confused. I'm like, I'm a knight. I don't think that's a senior officer at all. But of course, I didn't. Ugh, I just went with it. Very well then. Would you care to enlighten us, or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertebrate gunship's computer. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, ma'am. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, ma'am. Reason I was walking so slow in this, and I realized I started speaking a little bit before I should have, is because I was trying not to run Halen over. I am wearing a very, I am wearing T60 power armor with Brotherhood, uh, with the Brotherhood of Steel paint job. So, I didn't want to accidentally sprint into her and send her flying, if that was even possible, which I highly doubt it was, but still. And I felt it was more appropriate. Just the trail, just a slightly behind, so. I literally didn't know at this point that if I was gonna kill Paladin Dance or not. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. Why are you telling me all of this? Because someone has to before you rush off and carry out Maxon's orders without thinking about what you're doing. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being. Give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was listening post Bravo an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now, or if he trusts any of us at all.
this is where I started getting a little bit cocky because I figured, oh, nothing's gonna happen to me. There's gonna be no enemies. I thought I took care of them all. And then I do something stupid and I don't, and I don't save because I've gotten into the habit where if I think I am going to succeed in something the first time, I don't save. Well, you'll see here in a second how I was wrong. Lawful use of
something could be lurking there. I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. Why didn't you tell me, Dance? Because I didn't know. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? How could you not know that you're a synth? It doesn't make sense to me either. It just feels like a cruel joke. I remember being a child. I remember growing up in the ruins. Everything. I suppose they programmed that all into my head. I mean, I feel like I've been in control of my entire life. Making my own decisions and determining my own fate. Even though the proof states I'm a synth, I don't feel any different than I did before. I still feel like a human. Why does any of this even matter to you? You're obviously here to carry out Maxon's orders. Does he even want me alive? No, but I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that we're good friends, and this must be very difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else, but that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxim, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made the decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. Is there any way out of this? We both know that this is the right thing to do. If you refuse to follow Maxon's orders, you're undermining everything the Brotherhood stands for. I can't allow that to happen on my account. I want no. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? I've already lost my family. I don't want to lose my friend. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I should consider how my death might affect the people that care about me. People like you and Halen. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. Whatever you decide to do, I've got your back. Thank you, my friend. But I have my own path to follow. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. The sooner I make for the border, the sooner I put this behind me. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here.
betray the brother. It's oh, not no. her fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Knight, why has this this thing not been destroyed? You're wrong. Oh, he's still alive because you're wrong about him. Him? Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother. It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure. After all I've done for the Brotherhood, all the blood I've spilled in our name, how can you say that? You're the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. You're comparing dance to a nuclear bomb. This machine might not be a bomb, but its goal is exactly the same. Place it where you want the damage done, and when you least expect it, it delivers a lethal blow without warning and without mercy. A precision strike delivered right at the heart of the enemy. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory. And some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust, and I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity, and I thank you for it. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute dance, or I will not. The choice is yours. After all the sacrifices I've made, and all the battles I've fought for the Brotherhood, you need to listen to me. You owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. I might things up high enough. Whether he's human or not, Dance saved the lives of countless Brotherhood soldiers. Now it's time you saved his. You're a stubborn woman. So, it appears we've arrived at an impasse. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive, which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight. And your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin. Or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. Should you choose to ignore me, know you will be fired upon immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of her. I'm returning to the Pridwin night. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. It took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like that. So what are you gonna do now? I've decided to stay here. 
I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post, but it will have to do. Besides, you're still going to need my help, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Now, you better get back to the Fridland. In the meantime, I'll start making. And that is how I defeated or uh, completed. Me? Why did I say completed? I don't know. A uh, blind betrayal. Like and subscribe for more videos. I will be uploading every single day. And if I miss a day, it's because of my internet, or I was too busy that day. But the next time I get a chance to upload, it'll be double the amount, or however many days I missed. That's how many videos will be going up. And hit the bell icon if you want to get notified on when I upload. And comment down below what games you want me to see next and who I should collab with. Maybe if you want Daniel to come back, or maybe some of my friends that I played Cards Against Humanity with. So, uh, yeah, and as always, stay fiery, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye! And I have to go above the Pridwin.